Good morning, YouTube. Um, it's John and Little House Big City. Um, I just want to share something with you that I've become quite um, appreciative of in the last couple of weeks. It's my sink. And why you're probably wondering why the sink? Well, it's because of the combo of the sink and the faucet, and I've come to appreciate how that works. As you can see, there's a pile of dishes in it. It's because the dishwasher is full. I hadn't bothered to empty it yesterday. But this morning, I was um, needed to wash a couple of pans because they were still dirty from yesterday. And this is being an example of what makes the sink work as well as it does. This is my cast iron skillet. skillet. I used it this morning to um, fry up some bacon and I had to wipe it out because of yesterday's oil that was still in it. As a result, the um, I'm going to show you what I did. This bowl wasn't here, so I'm just going to move it out of the way. And see, I can actually clean it up right there. With most faucets of the lower of the lower end faucets that have the spout that goes up to about here, and I'll show you a picture. Um, they really, you can't do that very well, even with this kind of sink. That yes, as you can see, I can quickly wash it out and not have to empty the sink out just to wash a pan in a pinch, which is exactly what I'm showing here. Is oh, but the other reason that I like this particular sink is the fact that it's a sink of basin sink. I know some people like them because you can fill it one side with hot soapy water and then rinse on the other side. I find I don't like that as well and the reason for that is when you're cooking and baking you want to be able to have a place to to lay things like your 9 by 13 um, or 16 by 12 half sheet baking pan and those can lay down flat in this sink and you can just put a little bit of water in them and let them sit until you're ready to wash them and uh, with that plus having a tall faucet like this one makes it really great if you need to um, fill a, a tall pot like a 8 to 12 quart stock pot you can just sit down and then fill without having to fight for a, low, a faucet that's low. Yes, there are faucets that are that size. They have the, the sprayer, but they're still too low for real to be of any real use. So, when I get around to it and can redo the kitchen, I would like to replace this with a better looking one with the smaller radius corners and is deeper. A 10 inch deep basin sink. This is going to be great and I'll show you in a sec once I get my hands dry um, why that works so well. Basically as you can see here this is all stuff that's going to go in the dishwasher once I get it emptied. But pull out a little bit and you can see a little bit easier that it's a wide sink. This sink is, I measured it and it's about 16 inches in, in width. And you really don't need anything wider than that, although Krauss, which is a German company, makes one that's 30, 33 inches wide. But they have one that's 16, 15 or 16 inches, and then one that's narrower. I'd rather go with a 15, 16 inch wide sink for a simple reason. I can put my sheet pants, half, half sheet, half size sheet pants in, in here flat. Now, that little... Uh, chrome bar thingy down there that's a generic one that I bought at um, Bed Bath & Beyond last month to try and wasn't much it was like 15 bucks but the nice thing is it raises up the bottom of the sink by about an inch and a half to two inches so anything so there's water down there it's not nothing's going to be sitting in water basically um, and it just, in, 
the better sinks will come with those as as a standard part of the package. But if you can see the arch faucet and the sink is a great combination if you're a serious cook. Now, granted, if you're own if you are renting, you may not have a choice in the matter because you're going to be stuck with the cheap faucet that comes with the sink. And most of those are going to be of the low spout variety. And I'll show you, like I said, I'll show you a picture. But generally speaking, this kind of combination works really, really well for um, for the kind of cooking that, that happens. And I start, and as I was cooking my big meal um, Monday after Black Friday, this thing came in handy for that.
as you can see, there's my clean sink. And there's all the stuff that's in the basket and the stuff on the side. Anyway, this was, as I was saying, this was a, a kind of like a mat. It's like a grid that keeps everything off the bottom of the sink and allows everything to filter down into the sink and drain so you don't in, end up accidentally having stuff sitting in water. So, and I really like that and I like having this in here even though it's not really made for this sink but it's made to be in any sink of this rough dimension. Otherwise it would fit better but I like it for what it is. Anyhow, um, that's how clean the sink and that's one of the reasons why I love this combination sink. 16 inches or so wide is perfect for things like half sheet pans which sorry about that this is a half sheet pan which I can there we go that's a half sheet pan and that will fit in my oven just fine and it lays perfectly as you can see here in the sink so that's one of the reasons and ultimately in the end it boils down to what's more important for me when I wash up I can use like a my mixing bowl which you saw in the uh, cooking um, video, the part two cooking video, which I'll point up here, up this way, to my left. Um, that you saw me using that bowl, and that divides the sink, if you will, you know, quote unquote, divides the sink. So, and it's easy enough to do. And I've got a drain uh, pan, dish pan below too, if I need it. But I would rather have this to put big long things like the sheet pans in so that their things can stack neatly in the sink as I go along because things will pile up in the sink before I get into the dishwasher. So when I go to build my own house or redo this kitchen, which is the beauty of owning a place, is I can do that. And with the high arc faucet, or something similar to it, I can spray the sink out if I need to, I can stream it if I need to for everyday use, um, but I can get a tall pot under it and fill it up with water. And you don't even have to think about it. So this is going to be the combination that I would be going for when I redo my kitchen. <clears throat> but like I said earlier, I've come to appreciate this combination in recent weeks. Why I didn't recognize this before, I don't know, but I'm just starting to realize it now as I'm cooking, as I cooked that fancy meal and it became apparent. Anyway, to that chair. If you're a doofus like me and you inadvertently um, forget to run your dishwasher yesterday until you're about ready to have dinner and you realize oh I didn't run the dishwasher so you let it run and with most modern dishwashers they tend to run about 90 80 to 90 minutes per cycle if you're using the normal wash so what's they got to do well you let it run and when you're done with dinner you pile everything in the in the sink now, for most of us, it's as you're cooking and in the heat of the moment, you're just sticking things in the sink. But at the end of the night, when you're ready to, when you're done with dinner and you're getting ready to kind of tidy up the kitchen for the evening, take a few minutes and restock things so that they're nice and neat, like you see here. This is basically what I've done is just get everything stacked up so that the flat stuff is on the bottom and everything else stacked on top. So as you can see, well, maybe you can see, but I've got the cutting board on the bottom, my half sheet, baking sheet on top of that with some water in it, my plate, 
this bowl, which I use to um, toss all the uh, vegetables and the uh, tomato or potatoes for a sheet pan meal, which is what the baking sheet was for, and everything else went in um, went inside, and then it was filled with water. A small bowl, the cup from this morning, and the uh, food scrap bowl. Everything else is sitting on the counter, off out of camera's sight. And it looks neat and looks tidy. Yes, it's dirty, but I would rather have it looking like this and come in in the morning and take maybe 10 minutes to pick it all up. Which I will put as a graphic underneath when I do the video and time it out. So, for that, um, I'm going to take a minute and empty the dishwasher. And then we'll see what, how long it takes to uh, put all this in and wash the few things that can't fit in the dishwasher. Namely, the, my baking sheet and the big bowl um, and a couple of other things. But generally speaking, there, there won't be much. So let's get going.